this is another trucking video and on this one i'm going to show you how to track the ship um the name of this app is marine traffic it'll be in the description and on this app you could track any type of vessel that's on the ocean you could track a fishing boat you could track a military ship you could track a cargo ship, um, just about any vessel on the ocean that's re registered, you could track it. And what you want to do is, once you open the app, once you open the app, you could just look around the app. You could check every region and see if it's a lot of traffic in the area or not, you could see what ship um, anchored out. You could see what's moving. All these are vessels that's on the ocean. You could also touch on them and it'll give you the name. And it'll tell you what kind of ship it is. Now, it's a... Um, This app, you could use it for free or you could pay for it. If you feel like paying for it, you could pay for it, but it's free. If you just want to track the ship to see, um, say you have a container coming in on a ship, you just want to track the ship to see when it's supposed to arrive or the lo exact location of the ship right now, you could do all that for free. We're going to go up here. These are all ship that I track in the past. And I'm just going to do a few just to show you how exactly it works. First one I'm going to track is um, this military ship, USNS Comfort. If you don't know, that's like a hospital on we on um, it's a hospital on on the ocean. That's basically what the ship is. A naval hospital. So this one right here is moored in Norfolk right now. It arrived December twenty first. And that's why it came to mind because I saw it a couple of days ago. And it show you where did it come from on its way to where it's at now. This give you the exact position of it. Latitude and longitude. Some data on here, if you need it, you got to pay for it, but just your basic tracking just to see where exactly a ship is located right now or to see where they're heading to. You don't need to pay for that. So that's a military ship. The next ship I'm going to track, I'm going to track a, um, a container vessel. This one is a CMA ship. I tracked this one before. So I'll just pull it up since it was already up there. This is a ship right here. It show you a picture of it. It show you the last um, port call, which is Algeciras and the port is heading to. Livorno and the ETA is January 29th when it's supposed to get there at 2000 and 
the time zone is um utc so if you want to um if you're in the eastern time zone and you want to find out what time zone this is you just put in 2000 utc to eastern time zone in um google and it'll let you know what's the eastern time zone you also show you what flag that ship flying so the status is showing on the way using engine if it's moored where it says status it will say moored so if you're looking on it and it's in port like at savannah miami um jacksonville wherever and you say moored then you know it's in port and they also tell you it's in port And this is basically the same information right here. See, some stuff you gotta pay for, but the basic tracking, you could do that for free. So, there's another way you could track the ship if you're waiting on a containers to arrive and you want to track the ship to see where they at when they're supposed to arrive and stuff like that likewise some port website you could go to the port website and they'll have a vessel schedule on there i use both of them because sometimes the port website the vessel might get delayed so whatever is showing on the port website also come here to see if it match up and two ways you could use this right here you could um you could search by the vessel number or you could search by the the vessel name 